So in uh, wiring two, this chapter, we're going to run but not plug in the SATA data, uh, SATA data and power cables. Uh, those cables going to the hard drives. And the reason we do that, not plug them in, is that um, since my boot drive and OS uh, is going to be the PCIe SSD that's in the motherboard, I didn't want to have the hard drives plugged in when I first booted it up and have the BIOS try to figure out which is which. Having the hard drives disconnected, the um, BIOS will never even see them, and so it'll make it easier to, uh, to avoid having issues recognizing which is the boot drive. Um, run the PCI power cables uh, from the power supply to the GPU. Uh, with you know most GPUs nowadays, certainly any of the ones that use a lot of power, uh, you need supplemental power. You don't want to just run off what's on the PCI bus. So you run separate power from the power supply right directly to the GPU board. And lastly, um, we'll run the case fan power cable uh, from the power supply to the back. We'll plug it in later, but we'll run. We'll, we'll install that cable now. And let's run the SATA power and data for. The hard drives, um, I'll run them, but I won't plug them into the drives because I don't want to do that just yet. Okay. So, uh, SATA power is going to plug into the power supply. So, I want to run the cable in the back. So, pull that through. Pull that through, pull that through, pull that through, okay, and we'll plug it into one of the SATA power slots, which is these guys here, the six pinners, pin goes down, so I'll start at the bottom, plug it in there. Okay. And we'll pull that cable through and we'll neaten it up a little bit more later on. Now the SATA data cable. Oh, uh, which way do those connectors go? Okay, and it looks like it goes down. Okay, so that's the way it goes. I need to rotate this around so you can see. Okay, so that's the SATA port right there. Pin goes down, so it should go like this. Okay, that's that one. I'll push that through. I did the one at the bottom because they're stacked too high. I did the one at the bottom first because it's easier to get the bottom one in and then the one above that next. Okay, so that's both SATA cables, data cables. Now again, I'll push that guy through. Alright, let's spin this around. Highlight again the fact that I'm trying to do this kind of one circuit at a time so that we don't have too many cables in the way. Okay, so there's a data cable, there's a data cable. Okay, I'll run them into the hard drives here and here. And here's the power cable. Uh, let's see if I can. 
this more neatly. Okay, now pin goes down, or the key goes down, and there's the power connector for the hard drive sided power cable. Ear goes down, so that goes down. Now there's one, two, three, four connected to this. I only have two drives installed at the moment. But if I'm going to add more, I'm going to add them above it. So I'm going to start with the bottom one and I'll plug that in like like so. Then the next one, plug that in like so. And I'll take the, uh, the remainder of it and I'll just kind of tuck that in here for now. I'll tie that up later. Okay, and I'll sort of do like that. I'll have to tie that up at another point in time. That's probably pretty good just like that. Okay, now the data cables also plug into here, but I don't want to plug those in now because I want to get the thing booted up and the OS installed before I connect the um, before I connect the um, hard drives. Okay, so there's that. I need to connect up the PCIe power cables. I've got the last two cables to be installed. One is the PCIe power cable coming from the power supply to the GPU board. So it's a four pin connector and if you look on the power supply you've got red connectors on the cable, red uh, socket on the uh, board so uh, it doesn't take a rock, rocket scientist to figure that out so I'll plug that into he here like that and then it's a Let's see, that's a, a three and a three. One moment. Figured out the <clears throat> PCIe power connections to the graphics board. They didn't make it easy. Okay, so there's a six pin and an eight pin header on the graphics card. The cable has two six pin cables or connectors and two two-pin connectors. So the one six-pin plugs in to the six-pin as you would make. Make sense? Keys on the bottom, ears on the bottom, so it plugs in like so. Now the other six-pin connector plugs in as well as the two-pin connector, but you want to make sure you get that in the correct way and the way you know it's the correct way is there's two little ears on the connector here and here and when you look in the housing there's a little slot between things so that that connector goes in that way. It can't go in that way. So it has to go in that way. And we'll throw in the two, the six pin beside it.
Okay, so that's that's it. Okay, so we've got the graphics card fully wired up, and that's all the power wires with the exception of the case fan, and that's powered by not that one. Where did it go? This guy. So six pin plugs into the power supply. I have it upside down. Like that. I'll push these through to the other side. this guy in from that side. They're trying to feed all those connectors through. So I'll plug this guy in down here. Okay, so that's all of those cables. I'll go ahead and tidy up the other side, but let me go ahead and tidy up this side as I'm basically done in the front. So let me get some tie wraps. And how am I going to do this cable here? Unfortunately, with those cables in the way, it's kind of blocking the fan that I was hoping to apply some cool air to the SSD. Well, I'll come back to that, but let me cut this off. that. Well, generally, you don't want to run power wires next to signal cables. You know what? I won't do that. I'll just tuck this in like that. Okay. It's not good. Okay. Okay. So that's that. All right, so we're basically done this side here. Okay, as I mentioned uh, earlier on, well, 
since we're going to be installing the OS on the M.2 PCI SSD on the motherboard, I left the two hard drives unplugged so that they didn't confuse BIOS when, when we first booted it up. Uh, need to run the additional power for the GPUs and uh, case fan power comes from the power supply. 